Uh, and then we talked about how to waive a judge's immunity. You got the Tort Claims Act in your state. You've got notice requirements, okay? And those that's one thing. The other thing is you have an insurance claim you can make with your uh, risk manager in your county, for example. You, you contact chief counsel for your county or for the board of supervisors, and uh, you find out what their intake is for making an insurance claim for damages caused by an employee of the county. And then you file the insurance claim. Some of them have a form. Most of the time, the insurance claims are geared toward uh, physical injury, but it doesn't have to be physical injury. It can be a tort. Okay, it's an action at law. So you just make the claim. Um, I had one the other day. It was a letter. I, I called him up on the phone. I got the attorney on the phone, the chief counsel, and I said, hey, I want to make an insurance claim against the county. She said, okay, just send us a letter. <laughs> I said, okay. She goes, tell us the who, what, when, where, and why. And uh, I said, does it have to be under penalty of perjury? She says, nope. Just tell us everything. So it's that. it could be like that, guys. It's writing a business letter. And you thought learning that in school was a waste of time. Well, some of us did. <laughs> So anyways, this is effective. I'm not trying to destroy your government, right? I'm not trying to attack judges just doing their job. We need them. But sometimes you have to show them who's the boss. Sometimes you have to waive the judge's immunity. And there's the state tells you how to do it. We have to be able to do it.